Mr. Guthrie, right now it's uh, nearing 10 o'clock. Uh, what is the situation as far as the APB is concerned? Are you going to issue one very shortly? Very shortly, just uh, exactly what time I can't say. Uh, we'll wait here for another uh, hour or so, and probably if we haven't heard him by that, heard from him by that time, or had uh, him come here, then we'll be forced to issue an all-points bulletin, and uh, that will put him in the fugitive status. And then we'll work with law enforcement agencies. The parole division will work with law enforcement agencies in, uh, in seeking his apprehension. What would happen if he should turn himself in later on in the day? Well, we're, we'd be receptive to uh, uh, him turning himself in uh, to us at any point. And, of course, uh, if we had him in custody, then we'd cancel the all-points bulletin. Would there be somebody around uh, to... Uh... We plan to leave people here, and, of course, our parole offices are open, too. Uh, but we plan to leave people here uh, through most of the day. And uh, there will be, of course, personnel in our parole offices here in San Francisco, uh, as there is all the time. So uh, there'll be plenty of opportunity. You haven't set a deadline then on the APP? No, not a firm uh, by-the-minute deadline. Sometime in the next hour is quite likely. Uh, this is being done in the routine process, and the uh, and the. Uh, no, is still this statewide only? Pardon? Is this statewide only? That's right. This is statewide APB. Is it it APB? Yes, it is. Pardon? How long do you think it will take to have an APB issue? Uh, within minutes. Can you repeat that statement once again, please? Yes, uh, the adult authority and the uh, Department of Corrections have asked for the issuance of an all points bulletin for the apprehension of Mr. Cleaver. Can we uh, a ask if, uh, on the tag of that, you're going to put down, uh, can be considered dangerous? No. Uh APB right away, did you say, Charles? No grace period, huh? Oh, You're not missing anything, sir. Come on, Well, this guy will get the hot show up. Over my head. 
did you not? I did expect it. Has an all points bulletin been put out for Eldridge? They said that they're going to put on an APB. Mrs. Cleaver, do you know where your husband is? No. When was the last time you saw him? Sunday night. Did he give any indication at that time of his plans for today? Yeah. It's rumored that Eldridge is out of the country. Do you think this is possible? No, I don't think so. Why not? Someone said QB. Why not? Speak out, Kathleen. Well, first place, he hasn't, I saw him on Sunday and he couldn't have gotten out of the country that he you think he's second place that he indicated he had no intention of leaving the country. You think he's still in, you think he's still in San Francisco? I think he's doing a bear. Charles, if uh, he's out of the state, would the FBI come in on a unlawful fugitive flight? I don't know what the jurisdiction of the FBI is. Uh, I'm sure whatever Eldridge is doing, I'm sure he's doing it uh, in a considered manner, in a uh, manner that he's given the matter a lot of thought any longer. What do you want him to do, Charles? What do you expect of him? I, uh, I, t uh, I expected him to show up uh, for us to be able to carry on the battle from from here on out. Do you, make a, do you make a plea for him to turn himself in now? No, I won't make any plea. Uh, my relationship with Eldridge and the Panthers have been that I carry out my legal responsibilities, they carry out their political responsibilities, and I don't superimpose my own uh, white background to tell a black uh, militant on how he should conduct himself or comport himself. Uh, that's not my prerogative. Uh, these, these men and women are responsible. They've got intelligence far beyond my own comprehension about the problems they're faced with. And they make their own decisions. They make their decisions uh, uh, in their own counseling. And they don't need my uh, advice. What's your next step uh, insofar as this case is concerned legally? We intend to pursue this matter to the United States Supreme Court on a petition for writ of certiorari. What, what is that? That means, uh, in a layman's language, asking the Supreme Court of the United States to review the conduct and the action of the California courts. When does that happen? to federal district court? No, John, we're not going to federal dis dis district court. We want to exhaust our other remedies first. Mrs. Mrs. Cleaver, would you care to use this opportunity to, to uh, ask uh, Elder to return? Right? Do you expect him to turn himself in? Okay. He had said that he was the, he would not be taken in. And he, at least reports are ahead that he would um, be, uh, let's say, non -violent, would be violent if she uh, was taken out by the police. Mentioning using guns. Uh, Very hey, careful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Who's this? Yeah, hey, like 300 people Who's this? For? And we'll work with the police uh, to seek his apprehension. If he's out of state, this would automatically call in the FBI, would it not? I don't know. I don't know what their jurisdiction is in this matter. What was your name again, sir? Phil Guthrie, Information Officer, Department of Corrections. Can you give Thank us you very again, much, sir. Phil. Yeah, right. <laughs> I start now? Yeah. We'll wait here for another uh, half hour, 45 minutes, and Mr. Cleaver does not show up, and we'll uh, ask for the issuance of, a, of an all points bulletin. At that time, uh, his status will be that of a fugitive, and we'll work with the uh, law enforcement agencies, uh, the local police, and in order to seek his apprehension. Just what beyond that, I can't really speculate. What's your obedient action? We're to wait here for about another half hour, 45 minutes, then issue an all points bulletin. And at that time, uh, we'll, from then on, we'll work with the police to seek his apprehension. Thank you very much.